Now that forecasted ice storm would be the second significant weather event for our area in less than a week. Most of our region is still recovering from widespread power outages. 10 News reporter Taj Simmons is live in Danville where preparations are underway this evening. Taj. Well, Lindsay, the ice is not here yet, but it has been a devastating effect from the last time this happened. Now, as you can see, the streets are clear. The ice has melted from the last time, but there's still so much they've learned from the ice that happened the prior storm, and there's a lot left to go. The force of winter turned parts of Danville into a frozen tundra this past weekend, which left more than 20,000 customers without electricity. The power is mostly back on, but an Arctic encore could damage Danville again. I think it's been 10 or 10 or 15 years since we've had a storm of this magnitude. Danville Public Works Director Rick Drazenovich is preparing for a half an inch of ice in the city. The streets are their top priority. Public Works trucks covered the roads with brine throughout the day. Earlier in the day, we've checked out all our vehicles, got them ready to go. This morning, we started started putting down the uh, Brian and all the major thoroughfares. Meanwhile, Danville Emergency Management Coordinator Tim Duffer says the trees will become the main problem once the ice accumulates. Usually with snow, you don't you have that, but not in the quantity or the volume you do with ice. Duffer and Drazenovich are already anticipating another round of outages if the ice is as bad as the last time. I expect there'll be many, many more trees coming down on the power lines. We're getting our chainsaws ready. We're making sure our generators that uh, supply our buildings are uh, in you know good shape. Unlike the past storm where the ice only built up at higher elevation, Duffer says even downtown Danville could freeze over this time. We plan for kind of the worst and hope that that doesn't happen. Right now, Danville is just waiting for the temperature to drop. Even though the ice has gone from the last storm, the effects remain. About 300 customers here in Danville are still without power. But the good news this time around is the crews that came up from North Carolina to help reconnect the power are still here and ready to help when things get bad tonight. For now, reporting live in Danville, Taj Simmons, 10 News working for you.